woke up about 6.30 Sunday morning and I had a, just didn't feel good. 50-year-old Tim Bown of Summerfield took a hard hit from COVID-19. You know, I, I couldn't even focus on driving. He knew something wasn't right on a trip back from Myrtle Beach this past October. I couldn't get warm. I couldn't, I, my body started aching real bad and I knew I had a four hour ride home on a motorcycle. I told the guys, I said, I just don't feel right. So they said, you know, just tough it out, tough it out. Tim rode home with a temperature of 102.4 and at home in lab tests confirmed he had contracted coronavirus. It never, I never had a cough. I never had the shortness of breath. I just felt really, really worn out. Um, really, really bad headaches. And just, I just had no energy. Once cleared of the virus, massive headaches and fatigue continued, along with memory loss and brain fog. In the, the not knowing where I am, I mean, just, I went to go get my son a birthday present and I took off driving. I wound up almost a hanger off. Don't even know how I got there. My wife called and said, where are you? I said, I don't know why, but I'm a hanging rock. Well, how'd you get there? I don't know. I have no idea. For months, Tim says he just couldn't get better. And then it was, I had uh, su suicidal thoughts. It was, it was hard. And it, like I said, it never, it never affected my lungs. So it was all up here. Sorry. And I just, I didn't care if I lived or died. I could care less. Life did get better. In March, doctors performed brain surgery to alleviate some of the side effects of COVID-19. An MRI scan revealed Tim had a brain aneurysm. I don't know if it, if me getting COVID found the aneurysm or did COVID cause the aneurysm. We don't know. Um, but it was, it's, it's been rough, so I, I I'm thankful I'm here. I was diagnosed, thought I had a sinus infection, and then it just went downhill from there. Let's see here. I got to remember. For nearly seven months, 56-year-old Kenneth Cecil of High Point lived his life with oxygen 24 hours a day. You know, you just strap it by the strap, and that was my lifeline to outside for so long. Shortness of breath is just one of the many long-term side effects he experienced from contracting COVID-19. I had a lot of fatigue. There was um, mental status as far as memory, uh, vision problems, sight, pro I mean, hearing problems. There, there was multiple. Kenneth was diagnosed with coronavirus in December of 2020, before the rollout of vaccines. We first introduced you to him after he spent 108 days in the hospital. Doctors said he would need a double lung transplant due to damage caused by the virus. My lungs was completely gone. I, at the time I was released, I had just a, a fist-sized right lung, no left lung at all because it was collapsed. With the help of his family, Kenneth rehabilitated at home while waiting for a transplant. This April, doctors gave him exciting news. I've been off of oxygen since October of 21. So I do not no longer use oxygen at all. And on my last visit, which was April the 6th at Chapel Hill, I was told right then and there that there'd be no, never no need for me to have a lung transplant. My lungs had completely healed and was as normal as anyone else my age. But to know that it's on its way out of here, you know, that's just another improvement. Though his lungs are healed, COVID symptoms persist. He doesn't let that get him down. My family was told to be prepared to bury me. I wasn't coming home. But God had his changed plans. So I, I feel richly blessed. They admitted me to the hospital, and probably the second day, 
I was unconscious. Amazing to see where I was. Life for 56-year-old Pastor Rory Baker. Being hooked up to all of the breathing apparatus and all of the tubes and everything is just a miracle. Wow. And his wife, Melissa. It's just, it's very emotional. Can sometimes get a little hectic. It brings back a lot of, um, a lot of memories. Between raising seven children and managing their own church, they're amazed at how they get it all done. Extremely grateful to be here. Uh, still, you know, a little bit fatigued. Um, however, I just continue to press on. And I'm grateful for every moment because um, according to what they said initially, I should even be here. Rory was diagnosed with coronavirus in April of 2020 and spent 87 days in the hospital. I handprint on the glass. We first spoke with his wife Melissa via Zoom when she thought her husband was on his deathbed. I remember that day. Oh, wow. Oh, gosh. <laughs> Bless Jesus. I had to learn how to walk, how to talk, uh, to bathe, clothe myself, feed myself, um, pretty much as an infant. Um, they damaged my vocal cords and they said there's a good possibility that I would not talk above a whisper. Still, two years after infection, Rory struggles with symptoms. Having uh, open heart surgery, having toes amputated, had gallbladder, double pneumonia, seizures, strokes, uh, just a plethora of things that happen that I can't explain other than the virus. They can't explain. Despite his battle with memory loss and damaged vocal cords caused by a ventilator. We've come a long ways, yeah, thank yes. God. He found a way to continue his calling, spreading the love of Jesus Christ. And that's what I believe that God has called me to do, to inspire people, to give them a message of hope, to let them know that it's not about where you are right now, but where you are going and to embrace every challenge that is thrown your way because ultimately it's in his purpose and in his plan that we live and we get through and we survive and come out better people. The road to recovery is not over for Tim, Kenneth, or Pastor Rory. As COVID restrictions ease up, these men hope their stories will encourage others to pay attention to the virus and realize the pandemic is not over yet. For WFNY News 2, I'm Lauren Coleman.